Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvis video. And today we're going to talk about the Veritas, all of them, well except the uh, Veritas of the Water and uh, the Heavens because basically their data mine is not there. And I check on another site, there's nothing crazy to talk about, but I really want to talk about Veritas of the Earth, uh, Veritas of the Flame, Veritas of the Light and basically Veritas of the Dark. These ones are the most important ones in my opinion. And Veritas of the Water and the Heavens, you're not going to use them, except for their TMs. That's the only thing you're going to use them for. So, without waiting, let's go see what Veritas of the Earth has to offer. Because uh, he's a really good tank, and especially if you guys don't have a Warrior of Light or something like that, he can do the job nice and good. Uh, so let's see, first one, Earth Lord plus one. Basically absorb uh, earth damage taken and now you're going to be able to increase your SPR and defense by 100% when your HP is going to drop below 50%. This is really neat, really nice. Uh, guard crits are the things you're going to be using and it's going to be 500,000 gil to level up, uh, to awaken, sorry. Uh, the second you have earth lord plus two, basically same thing. You're going to increase your HP and defense by 25% when you're equipped with a heavy armor. And auto heal 1800 HP every turn. So I like that. That's really good. It's basically like Warrior Sprite, where uh, sometimes it progs, sometimes it doesn't. This one, you're basically assured that you're gonna get 1800 HP every single turn. Uh, pretty nice. Basically, all the Veritas you're gonna see right here, they're uh, basically their their thing where they absorb their damage by the same element. They're all gonna get a stat boost when you equip them with a heavy armor. So, number two, we're going to get Incinerating Press, Physical Damage 2.7 with uh, Defense Scaling. So basically, you're, the higher your defense, the more damage he's going to do with this move. Uh, increased chance of being targeted by 100% for two turns. So instead of a one turn, he's going to be 100% provoked for two turns. The second you awaken a second time, you basically get damage mitigation by 30% for three turns to caster. So he's going to take the damage and he's going to mitigate it. Sorry, uh, he's going to mitigate it by 30%. So that thing is really, really good. Not that expensive, only 375,000 gil. And you're going to be using Guard Chris on this one also. Then the last one, Guardian, that's this uh, AoE cover move. Basically the plus one, you have 65% chance of jumping in front of the... Um, the hits to take for the whole party and he's gonna mitigate the damage by 45% and the second you awaken a second time basically 70% chance of jumping in front of the party uh, to take the damage and he's gonna mitigate the damage by 60% that thing is really really good uh, only 15 MP which is pretty pretty standard uh, he's gonna go uh, with uh, guard Chris so all his uh, moves if you want to awaken him make sure you have a lot of guard Chris and this one is only 375,000 also for a grand total of 750 if I'm not mistaken if I know how to count hopefully I know how to count you guys can correct me on this one so uh, all of that is actually really really good why would you use uh, Mr. Veritas of the Earth, well you guys saw he was pretty useful in the, the 10 man trial, the first one, especially if you guys haven't beaten that one, or the golem fight, he was really really good, he's still a really good tank, we know we are going to that 7 star meta, but not everybody has a lot of tanks to be able to get the 7 star, so this one, I really love it, you guys think about it, if he's your main tank, go for it, these things are really really good. Then second one. Mr. Veritas of the Flame, the mess, the big finisher, I was going to say Mr., but uh, Mr. Finisher right here, uh, he's getting some nice stuff, we're going to go over them right here, basically the Axe Mastery, uh, increase attack by 75% with equipped with an Axe, and the second time you awaken it, basically get 100% attack boost when equipped with an Axe, they're going to use support, he's going to use support Chris, sorry, and this one is only 250,000 each, so 500,000, that's not bad, but uh, let's be honest, if you're going to be using Veritas of the Flame, you want to use him for the fixed dice. So that's the main thing we have to think about. Number two, the Flame Lord. Uh, the second you awaken it, plus one, increase the attack by 150%, which is really, really high, when your HP drops below 50%. So that thing is not bad. Rarely you're going to have your units going under that threshold. Uh, Veritas of the Earth a little bit more since he's going to be the tank. But this guy... He's there to dish out the damage. Number two, when you awaken a second time, everything stays the same. Now you basically get an increase in HP by 40% and defense by 20% when equipped with a heavy armor. And it gives you access to double axe. So if you guys wonder, double axe will make you 
um, almost like quick combo from uh, CG Sakura, where you're going to be able to cast any axe move twice. So you can dual cast one of these moves. So let's say you want to fight, uh, you don't want to do a lot of fire damage. Well, you do Flaming Axe, where you uh, physical damage 1.5 would ignore 50% defense to one enemy. You're going to decrease the fire resistance by 50% for 5 turns to one, enemy, uh, to one enemy. And you're going to add the element on your attack. So if you're trying to, let's say, hit twice in the chain, well, that thing can be actually pretty, pretty good. So you're getting a new axis. You're getting a new ability, technically, where you're able to cast two of uh, axe moves, which uh, this thing is actually really, really nice. And I uh, can't wait to see how it works. Uh, then you get Heavy Stomp. The damage is increased, if I'm not mistaken, from 2.5. Uh, is it here? Heavy Stomp, yeah. So 2.5, you're now going to 2.75 with ignore 50% defense to one enemy. And uh, when you awaken a second time, you go now to a 3 times multiplier. And you get access to the following ability for one turn. Power Stomp, which I think is right. Is it right here? Full charge stomp. No, that's not the one. Uh, power stomp, I think, is a five times multiplier. So it's right here. Yeah, physical damage five times with ignore 50% to one enemy. So that thing is pretty, pretty strong. It's going to hit really, really hard, especially if you have the element on your weapon. Let's say fixed dice and you have an imperil to the uh, enemy. Well, he's going to be able to dish out a lot of damage, especially if you're hitting in the middle of a chain. That's going to do a lot of damage. Then he has uplift. Chance to counter, counter physical attacks 35% uh, by enabling full charge stomp, which is right here. Five times, uh, basically like um, the power stomp. It's almost the same move. Now he's just going to get the ability for one turn. Uh, plus one for one turn, yeah. So And he has chance to counter magic damage, uh, magic attack, sorry, by 35% by enabling full charge stomp. And basically when you do uplift plus two, it's the same thing, but now you just get a 40% chance to uh, counter. And uh, you get full charge stomp plus two. Let's see if uh, it changes anything. We get the plus two here. No, we don't see the plus two. All right, we don't get the plus two. So I guess he's going to do a little bit more damage on the hit. So that's it for Veritas of the Flame. Uh, I like his Awakening, especially the one where you're able to uh, dual cast I'm gonna call it dual cast, but where you're able to use double axe, where you can do use two of the axe move, that thing is really really cool. Uh, you can use uh, dark steel axe, aerial axe, earthen axe, and a flaming axe. So let's say you want to do a lot of damage with uh, an element on your weapon. Well, this is the way to go. It's pretty cool. Nice, uh, nice enhancements, Mister Veritas of the Flame. And let's go to Citra slash Veritas of the Light. Sorry for the spoiler. Uh, she's the one that got me really excited a little bit more since uh, I, I used her for a long, long time. And we're going to go over her stuff because she is really, really good. Uh, I guess her, it's going to make her a little bit better in the future. So her chaining move, Divine Shot, goes from a light hybrid damage. It becomes a 7.5, which was a 7 times multiplier. It goes to a 7.5 to all enemies. Decrease light resistance, 50%, stays the same. Uh, then the second you awaken plus two light hybrid damage 8.5 times multiplier to all enemy and decreases light resistance by 65% for five turns that thing is really really solid you're gonna need white crisps uh, it's really expensive but man she's gonna be able to dish out a lot of damage and you guys will see why she's gonna be able to dish out a lot more damage since her divine shot is a uh, Really, really good. I, I love this move. It just hits so hard. And uh, we'll talk about why uh, she's going to do a little bit more damage. Uh, Splendor. The second you awaken it, plus one. Basically get an increase in attack and magic by 100% when your HP is below 50%. Which is standard with all the other Veritas. This is where it gets really interesting. Splendor plus two. Increase attack and magic by 30% when equipped with a heavy armor. And enables access to the following ability, ability of uh, at the start of the battle. So Saint Buster. If you guys remember, uh, to unlock Saint Buster, you had to use Damnation. And Saint Buster is basically the AOE finishing move she has. It's a light hybrid damage with a 16 times multiplier to all enemies. That thing is really, really strong. Uh, so yeah, she's she has a lot more power in her kit, and that is amazing. White Chris again. A million so this one's gonna cost you a million gill to get to the max then she has license to kill 
to do even more damage. Increase physical and magic damage against demons, mechanical, fairies and undead monster by 75%. That's number one. The second you awaken a second time, basically all of the same, just 100% more damage to all demons, mechanical, fairies and undead. That thing is super strong. If you're having a hard time with certain bosses or stuff like that, she's going to make that fight a little bit easier because she's going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. That thing is crazy. It's going to use tech crystals and it's going to cost you a million five hundred thousand gil total to get all of that. Then our last one, Ultima. Uh, nothing crazy here. You're not going to use her for this. You're not going to chain Ultima with another uh veritas of the light or a dark fina hopefully you're not gonna do it so don't spend your gill or your black crystal on this magic damage 2.8 would ignore 25 percent spr to all enemies and the second you awaken a second time magic damage 2.8 same time would ignore 50 percent spirit to all enemies uh that thing that i'm really excited about splendor license to kill and divine shot these things are going to be really expensive because right here you're looking at four and a half million gill just to awaken all these moves but trust me seven stars are coming soon uh, these units are gonna be able to dish out even more damage this is why you can take the time and really think about it uh, telling yourself if I'm gonna use this unit now or something like that well maybe you should awaken her especially if you have multiple of her getting her a seven star uh, the damage you're gonna be able to cap out your units to damage and stats boost by 400% so you're getting an extra 100% uh, this is no joke. She's going to be able, just with the uh, the license to kill, having that 100% uh, more damage against demon, mechanical, fairies, and undead, that thing is no joke. This is really, really good. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that Veritas of the Light is getting some love here because she was out of the game. But now I think with this, she got brought back into the game and she's going to be able to dish out a lot of monster, uh, dish out a lot of damage and kill a lot of monster. Well, Veritas of the Light, I'm happy for you. Now, let's move on to the last one, guys. Veritas of the Dark, let's go down here. And, by the way, if you are new to this channel, please consider leaving a like down below if this is helpful and subscribing for more. And uh, let's get down to uh, Mr. Veritas of the Dark here. So, Impact. Uh, basically, right here, you guys can see, uh, that's the debuff move. So, he's going to be able to de debuff all stats of the enemies by uh, 45 percent so that's a big aoe break move really really good basically it's uh, the same thing as having a warrior of light doing uh arms eraser or um uh, what's the other one where you break the defense and spirit basically 45 percent really really strong uh impact plus one basically dark magic damage 4.2 times to all enemies the break stays the same uh the second you do a impact plus two uh, you basically decrease all stats by 45% for 4 turns, so you get 1 extra turn on that. And decrease all elemental resistance by 30% for 4 turns to all enemies. So not, not too shabby at all, that thing is actually pretty good. And if you guys can see right here, the MP goes down. So instead of being 80 MP, it goes down to 72 MP, which is really cool since you can conserve a little bit more MP on your units. Then you get Dark Lord, same as the other ones. Uh, increase attack and defense by 100% when your HP is below 50%. It's going to use Black Crist. The second you awaken it, plus 2. Basically, you get an increase in HP and attack by 30% when you're equipped with a heavy armor. Uh, increase, that's that's the one that got to me. Increase equipment attack by 100% when single wielding a one-handed weapon. And increase accuracy by 25% when single wielding a one-handed weapon. So, you have the choice to make him a uh, strong hitter as a true double end unit or you can make him a let's say chain big chainer with a dual will so that thing is pretty pretty good since you can use him for two different things and uh i'm, I'm pretty happy about that let's see in the future the seven star what it looks like see if he's able to dual cast some abilities or stuff like that then we're gonna go with the chaining move dark punishment basically i think it goes from a two times multiplier right is it real? Yeah. So it goes from a two times multiplier. Sorry, I'm scrolling really fast. Uh, really fast to a 2.3 times multiplier with ignore defense 50% to one enemy. Stays the same. Decreases light uh, dark resistance. Sorry, by 50% for three turns to one enemy. The second you awaken a second time. Sorry, it goes from a 2.3 to a 2.6 times multiplier with ignore 50% to one enemy and decreases dark resistance by 50% for three turns to one enemy. So this stays the same. You're going to use Power Crist 
Also, the MP, uh, it's going to be 40 instead of 45. So it's basically the same thing as the fine rumination from Orlando. Instead of 45 MP, it becomes 40 MP. It's going to cost a million gil. So right here, you're at 2 million gills total with the power crest. And the, the last one, dark edge plus one, dark physical damage uh, with a 2.5 times multiplier with ignore defense 50% to one enemy. It's going to add dark element to physical attack for five turns to caster. So this thing doesn't change just the amount of damage. The multiplier is a little bit higher. Uh, where's dark edge? Dark edge, are you here? Right here. So dark edge with a instead of a two times multiplier it becomes a 2.5. Then the second you awaken a second time, as I'm saying second second a lot of times, uh, it becomes a three times multiplier on the damage and basically increases physical damage against beast humans and dragons by 75% for one turn to caster. Uh, that's not bad actually. So let's say you cast dark edge and on the next turn you do dark punishment. Well, uh, you just increases, uh, you just increased your damage by a lot, especially if you're fighting a human or a dragon or a beast. Uh, you can slap on some killer abilities with that and do even more damage. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, especially the one that got me really excited is Veritas of the Light. She is looking really, really good and uh, I can't wait to awaken her abilities. Even though they're going to be really costly, I think I'll uh, try to farm a lot of Crist and a lot of Gil for them. Guys! Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below in the comment section which one of the units are you the most exciting for to awaken and uh, which one of them are you going to get the 7 star first. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Veritas of the Light. I have 3 of her and uh, I want to see what uh, that 7 star can do in the future. Guys, if you are new to this channel, please consider leaving a like down below on the video and subscribing for more content and thank you so much for uh, being part of this video, even though it was a little bit longer than expected, but hopefully it got you guys some good stuff to know about these units and the abilities. Guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.